Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'll be sharing you how to record your internal audio when you are using QuickTime player for recording your audio or recording your screen. All you are aware that QuickTime player can record your audio and uh, your screen with your mic volume or inbuilt audio. But when you are playing a YouTube video or you are playing something in the computer, it won't record automatically. So I will show you how to record internal audio by using QuickTime player. So for that, you need to download one software called Blackhole. It's a virtual audio driver. I have added a description for the download link you need to copy and paste that link so open safari and go to browser then paste the link then come down you can see black hole version 0.2.6 package click on this link then it will download the package. Open the package. So it will say this message that it cannot be opened because it is from an unidentified developer. So go to security and uh, privacy from system preferences. So you can see in the general tab, you can see was blocked from use because it's not from an identified developer. So click on open anyway. Click open. Then it will install, continue, click continue, install. Give your administrator password, click install software. You can see the software is successfully installed. Click close. Then you need to go to utilities. Here you can see audio MIDI setup. Open this. Here you can see built in microphone, built in output, and black hole 16 inch. Click on this plus button and create multi output device. Here you can give a name. Like. Took time. Output. And select this black hole 16 inch also. And again, click on this plus symbol and uh, create aggregate device. Here you can check this microphone and uh, this black hole 16 inch. So this is the quick time input device. Then go to system preferences. Click on this sound preferences. So input, you need to select this quick time input. And output, you need to select quick time output. After that, when you are recording your audio or screen recorder, when you are, if I'm um, recording an audio, you need to select QuickTime input as the microphone. Then it will record with your voice, including the internal audio. So now I have selected this QuickTime input as the microphone for my screen recording. So suppose if I am playing a music, 
with this then it will record with the music also so after finish your record you need to go to the sound preferences and change the output and input to the normal default settings instead of avoid confusions so our input should be external microphone for my case and output should be headphones so don't forget to set it as default that's all for today thank you for watching my video please do subscribe for more interesting videos